So where was the inspiration for Roots to Rituals? Um, the inspiration for Roots and the number two rituals, R-I-C-H-U-A-L-S, came from wanting to have a better understanding of who I am um, genetically, who I am ancestrally, so that I can understand my blockages around like growth of abundance and not necessarily in money like growth in just competitiveness for opportunity, uh, wellness, um, empowerment, embodiment, just a lot of things that I felt were missing from a disparity standpoint and it felt culture based. And so I always felt like until I could figure out who I am, how am I, who I was, how am I going to know know, who I am or who I am even becoming. So that's the inspiration around Roots to Rituals um, itself. I wanted to get in touch with my earthly roots so that I can expand into my cosmic roots and then from those to create a ritual, um, an enriching type of ritual outcome that is abundance in the form of wealth, prosperity, um, health, you know, those types of things. Why did I want to plan a wellness retreat? The biggest thing about planning a retreat is I already, you know, did events for the last, you know, 10 to 12 years I've done events. And I like to meet people in an open space that's normally unapologetically them, so there's no judgment. And so I do that with dance and music. So my biggest breakthrough with my wellness empowerment came with dance and movement. And so I felt, hey, if I could create a safe environment, which just happens to be a wellness retreat, which just happens to be a skill set that I already have and I currently, you know, create an income from, now imagine if I do it from a place of love. And so I wanted to plan a retreat that gave the essence of that. And then for it to be absolutely different than any other retreat that people have seen because music is not always involved. It's always you go get all of this hard work, you know, done to help you empower yourself. And then where's the reward? You know, people spend a lot of money to get to these retreats. So give me some fun. So I wanted fun to be the outcome. And that's activated through music and the whole, you know, hoopla around that. Why do people need to go on a spiritual retreat or journey of self-discovery? Um, I believe that people need to go on this type of discovery journey of self is because until you understand who you really are, you have no idea who you're supposed to be. So meaning we're born with the conditions and agreements that are on us just based out of gender, race, culture, and, and hey, it protects us. It gets us to where we need to be. We're thankful for those experiences. Some of us are, and some of us had to transmute earlier. But now that I know that, now that I know that about my journey, now I'm still being called to question that journey. That means I'm being called to explore me even further. So for somebody that's not called to explore, I'm not here to wake them up. They only became awake when they're worried about what I'm doing. And that's what I'm not what I'm here for. But I am here to be a light for those that are on their journey. And the light is just to remind them that all of the answers that they have are within. And these are the tools that help you highlight it.